So you're wondering how much you're gonna make in the military. Cause that's the first thing I wanted to know when I first was getting ready to join. I think there's a couple videos out there, but if you're like me, I would start watching them and they would take forever. I would scroll through. So my goal is to get through this in like five minutes or less and just get you the information as quickly as possible. So if you look on the internet, you'll see that you're gonna make as an E1 with less than four months in service, roughly $1,600 a month is what it comes out to being. I think it's a little bit more, maybe 1630 something. However, that does not factor in some other aspects of how much you get paid in the military because there are three main sources of income within the, uh, the, the military, not just the Air Force, but any branch. So you've got your base pay, and that's how much you make based off of your rank. You've got your BAH, which is your basic allowance for housing. So that's how much money you're getting for rent, which I'll explain in a second. And your basic allowance for substance, or your, your food money, which is next. So those three things together will make up how much you get paid. However, that also depends on whether or not you're married or single. So if you're single, meaning you're not married, you have no dependents, when you're going through training, you're obviously living for free, eating for free. So you're not going to be getting either of these. You will still always get paid, but as long as you're in tech school and basic training, you are not collecting either of these. The only reason you would collect your, your housing allowance money or your food money is if you're married. Now, if your wife comes or her husband comes down to tech school, let's say, with you, and you live with her off base, you're going to be, collect be collecting housing money. If you go down for training and your wife does not come with you and lives back home, you will still collect that basic allowance for housing money. And regardless, also, you'll be collecting food money. So, married, still getting BAH, BAS, whether or not your wife or husband comes with you to training or has to stay home. Now, once you get out of training, let's say you're operational Air Force, you're doing your job. If you're married, you will still always collect these three things because obviously you need, you need to get a place to live. You need to be able to feed both of you. And if you're single and you're not married, you're going to be living in the dorms for about the first year or two on base after you become, after you come into the operational Air Force. And therefore you will not be collecting BAH because you're living for free. Utilities are covered, you know, obviously rent's covered. And in most career fields, you will not be collecting BAS either because you'll be eating you know, kind of almost like a meal card plan at the DFAC. You can eat at the DFAC with, uh, and you use your, your CAT card, your ID card to, to pay for those meals. Does that make sense so far? Okay. Obviously, you want to know how much you're going to make. So, again, just based off of any one, you're brand new in the Air Force, you had no college credit, expect to make 1600 a month for the first while, honestly, for the first until you move out of the dorms on base, which again, a lot of times it's E4 and above, they finally move out of the dorms, but it depends on your base and everything else. So I can't really put a clear timetable on that. Um, to kind of put it in perspective for me, how much I make, I've only been in the Air Force two years and I'm an E4. So this is only for an E4 that's married. So my base pay right now is about $2,000 as an E4. This is not taking taxes out. My BAH, so my basic allowance for housing, it is $1,332, I believe. And then my BAS is about $368. So I'm not gonna add it up exactly here because I know how much I get a paycheck. So with taxes taken out per paycheck, two years into the Air Force as a married person, I make roughly $1,700 a paycheck. That's a little bit more. I think it's like seventeen fifty or something like that. So it comes out to about thirty four hundred dollars a month or so. But online, if you look online, it looks like I only make about twenty two, twenty three grand a year, and that's because what you see online is just base pay. You don't see the other two aspects here. And obviously, as you go higher in rank, your base pay goes up. BAH will also go up at a certain point based off of rank. Um, and BAH is the big one that really varies. In Hawaii, your BAH is gonna be a lot higher than the BAH in Alabama. It all depends on the area that you live in. So some people might seem like on paper, if you add it all together, they're making $50,000 a year as an E4 or an E5. That's because their BAH is a lot higher. So hopefully that makes sense. That is as quick as I can go through it. If you want me to break it down more, especially for basic training, just let me know. And yeah. You can look up your BAH, too, on a BAH calculator online. That's a good point. So, yeah, if you, if you just Google search BAH calculator, it'll take you to a DOD website. You put in the zip code of the base that you're thinking about being stationed at, and it'll show two brackets, uh, BAH with dependents and BAH without dependents. So without dependents, people who are not married. Um, so it's a great website.